London, Lancaster Gate, home of the Football Association headquarters. But on Saturday, October the 28th, soccer was relegated to second place by Dennis Follows, the association secretary. For him and Mrs. Follows, this day was bigger even than the cup final. It was the day of the big match, daughter Mary and Martin Richter. So they made last minute adjustments before the 2.30 deadline, when the ball would be set rolling for the very happy event. Here was the star of the day, Mary, with her bridesmaids. There was still time for Mother and the Radiant Bride to admire some of the lovely wedding presents. But at last, the big moment had arrived. Father and daughter prepared to set out on the short walk that was to be the biggest step in Mary's life from 22 Lancaster Gate to Christchurch, just a few doors away. Mr. Follows is a man used to making decisions. It was he who decided to leave the car and show his lovely daughter to admiring onlookers. And so at last, the proud father brought his daughter to the place of her marriage, to the brink of a new life. In a short while, the girl that Betty and Dennis had brought from childhood to womanhood would have a new partner for the game of life. The bridal procession started its dignified walk to the altar where Mary and Martin would be joined in holy matrimony by the Reverend J. Neal. Even a lovely church takes on a special beauty when a marriage is to be consecrated within its walls. And here they were, Mr. and Mrs. Martin Richter. A happy moment for Mrs. Follows, as her daughter and new son-in-law, not in the least deterred by the awful weather, made for their wedding car. For Martin and his bride, the excitement of the ceremony was over. Ahead was the wedding reception and the honeymoon. Mr. and Mrs. Follows at this moment were just plain dad and mum. Football was forgotten. And this was a match where the Loving Cup was the prize trophy and where the bride and groom were a team certain of winning.